How's everybody doing? Zero here, and in today's video, I want to go over a very common topic I see in the competitive Smash Bros. scene, which is how does one get sponsored to play competitively? So in this video, I want to go over the whole topic, what it means to be a sponsored player and what you can do to increase your chances of obtaining such position. With that said, let's get started. First off, let's start from the very beginning. What is being sponsored? The first thing is that every contract is different, and that depends on the company or team, the deal, the player's value, and so on. This means that every sponsorship is unique in its own ways so there are different obligations but there are some general trends essentially a company or team financially supports a player as much as they can depending on the contract of course so this player can focus on the game as much as possible some of these benefits can but doesn't always include paying for trips to major tournaments covering entry fees receiving perks and items from partners and sponsors and sometimes can also include a salary so as you can see obtaining a sponsorship status for a player is very beneficial in terms of being able to do it full time. Essentially sponsors pay for the advertisement that you can provide with your personal brand through whatever you're notorious at. When I mean personal brand, I mean literally you. Yes, you watching this video. You have to consider yourself a brand essentially with this topic. The sponsors want the promotion, so in turn they can sell their products or their partner's products to keep the business going, and that's how everyone gets paid and things keep moving. So what matters is the numbers, the views, the followers. This is when social media becomes very important because it's where you can prove you have an audience, where you can prove you have numbers. For us gamers, this will come in the form of Twitch, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and the like. Something important to note is that sponsors also want a personal brand that goes along with their brand, the image. For example, a brand that caters to everyone will require the sponsor player to be appropriate for all ages in terms of image. You will have to act professional, especially in social media. But a brand that caters for example to more adult audiences wouldn't have the same requirements. This is all because of marketing. It has to make sense with the products, the audience behind it, demographic, and so on. It's all about the sales and what you can bring into the table about making that better. I am going to say though that in general, remaining professional and in good light is almost always good no matter what. It's, it's pretty much the good safe option. Finding the right sponsor or even having offers can take quite a while. Don't come in right off the bat expecting to have have offers. It takes a while to build it to get even there, even years sometimes. You have to build your personal brand as much as you can, literally. The good thing is that as time goes on, you become more valuable. You can get better results and wins, making you a better player, which in turn gives you more spotlight time and obviously with that more numbers. And with content, the more and better content you can create, the more of an audience you can have, which transforms into numbers as well. The harsh truth is that this all takes time. It's a long process, but it's worth it in the end. Don't be afraid to negotiate your deals. If you feel you deserve more, speak up about it in a respectful way. Just remember to be careful not to burn any bridges. The industry isn't infinite and you want to maintain good connections with pretty much everyone. Also, make sure to have contracts. Trusting just someone's word doesn't fly in the business world. It just doesn't, especially when you want to get paid. And also, while you're at that, make sure to carefully read a contract and ask questions before signing anything and never, never be pressured to sign anything, especially without reading it first. Research is also very important. Important. You want to pretty much research into whoever you're planning to do business with, see what people that have worked with them have to say about them, which is, you know, always very relevant. You want to make sure that you're working with something that is legit. Finally, don't be afraid to reach out and network. Not every opportunity will come to you. You will have to go out there and make things happen. Don't be a sitting duck. You can do this by going to events, introducing yourself to the people in the industry, and even reaching out to them in social media. But just don't sit there and do nothing about it. You want to be out there as much as you possibly can. Hopefully this answers questions around the topic and to those of you looking to get sponsored, hopefully this video was helpful with that. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys around in another video. Zero out.